a little slower place fight. I'm sure it wasn't what you expected. Yeah, uh, I come from loss. I couldn't, I couldn't give the chance to lose this fight. So I played the game to win with the rules. Uh, the guy was a really strong guy. If you see his highlights, is a knockout power. I didn't take the risk for, uh, for to, to get the range of the knockout. And when I got the ground, he was uh, really slippery with some, maybe some oil or something. But I tried my best uh, and I got the victory. Which I, I think was a good victory because the guy was really tough. And if you knock me out, uh, nobody would remember anyway. So <laughs> better win uh, by the rules than lose by knockout. You said you slipped with, me with some oil, so you felt like he was that something might have been there that shouldn't have been there. Yeah, well, some people like to do that, you know, but it doesn't matter. That's the fight. Same thing as a uh, uh, doping. You know, you cannot control doping. You cannot control this kind. Of, you can try to tie the the belt and uh, slow the amount of uh, this kind of situation. But the end of uh, at the end, it doesn't matter, you know, fight's a fight, go there and fight, that's what I do. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, like you said, he had so much power, was that also what made it kind of tough to not really be able to engage like you would like to do? Yeah, the, uh, the no engage was for both, but I won, that's the difference. Uh, he, he didn't want to engage and, uh, and I wasn't trying to engage him too, so... I was trying to apply my, my ground game and I was waiting for his mistakes. Uh, he took a while to make a mistake and uh, when he did, I put him down. And I, didn't, I couldn't capitalize on top of that. He was uh, playing defending the, uh, on the right way and I did my, my best to finish the fight, but I couldn't. How difficult is it when you hear the crowd booing or do you pay attention to those things at all you know, when you're fighting? Uh, my first fight in UFC, uh, 56 was the 15 minutes of going and the last 10 seconds I knocked the guy out so then if I didn't maybe I was going to stay on the UFC but I knocked the guy out uh, like right now I I stayed the patient and trying to, to finish my fight uh, I have the second uh, most finish in the heavyweight division I just lose for the old uh, champion like Frank Mir, so I, I don't consider myself a, a guy, a guy then trying to, to win by rules. But sometimes we need to play safe to, uh, because at the end, nobody going to remember if I lose. And uh, this is the first time you win by decision. Uh, I take you prefer to finish next time? Always, always I try to finish my fight. And he did not give me opportunity to finish my fight. I tried. I, I landed a couple high kicks, I landed a couple uh, overhand, but he was smart too. He had a good hands, he's a good fighter too, and he was playing safe too. So when both was playing safe too, so that's kind of uh, uh, give, uh, take away from the, the crowd what the crowd expects. But it's my face that he is trying to hit, and it's not the crowd's face. So I need, I need to be smart enough to don't give attention to that and, and play to don't get knockouted by my opponents there. So I did uh, the safe way to win my fight, but always I try to finish my fight. I try to finish him with a Kimura, and he hold his own pants. What I asked for uh, the referee, he said what this uh, movement is illegal, and so nothing wrong there. And but I couldn't do it. He defended himself. So, do you feel like he's a dirty fighter in some ways? Uh, no, I don't feel that. I feel uh, sometimes uh, coaches and uh, people and bad habits from different uh, organizations you you do because uh, everybody do, and I, I don't feel that he he was trying to cheat. I, I feel he was trying to do what he always needs to do. He do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.